Where's the plumber at? In there? It's the only yeah, deck I've been on that's got a problem, baby. They're supposed to be a Christian deck, but they got a problem with gay people. How are you going to be Christian? So because of your sexual orientation, you're requesting protective custody, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Bye, Josh. I'm going to fuck you, too. They trying to let me suck they dick. Uh, I'm gonna just get this out the way, man, because you know I'm not an advocate for the bullshit, man. I think the fact that the police leaked this footage is tasteless after his death. You know, rest in peace, King Vaughn. I think it's tasteless, but it is what it is, man. You know, it it is what it is. We gonna talk about it, you know, and it might even be tasteless to talk about it, but I mean. My platform's so small, I'm not making no ripple and shit, you know, I'm just giving y'all what it is, you know. So, you know, if you didn't understand what was going on in the clip, if the title doesn't say it on the video very, you know, directly, he was basically claiming that he was gay to go to protective custody and people believed that was so that he could dodge op smoke. That's basically what it is, you know, because... This is the thing. I'm I'm just going to get straight to it. I'm not even going to waste no time. I have never been locked up. I've never been to prison, never been to county, none of that. I'm not even about to sit here and like I love how niggas do, man, shit, nigga, I would have been in there. Oh, nigga, I do gym pop. I did all that shit. I love when niggas talk that hard shit, especially like niggas that's not currently like, man, you Come on, man. Every one of us know a nigga who just ran his whole, like, fucking section in the prison. We all know that nigga. I love I love hearing the type of niggas talk. This shit is, like, comedy to me because I'm not sure, like, it, it, and I've watched a lot of prison interviews. I'm going to just get this out the way. I'm not trying to go. I'm not trying to see nothing. I'm not trying to be a part of none of that. And I already know. I'm not even about to get on this shit and cap. I know I'm not built for none of it. I know I'm not built. Like, just the, just the freedom being taken away part. I know I'm not built for that at this point in my life. Period. Point blank. You know, a lot of people who be into the institutionalized shit, they get incarcerated and get, you know, uh, institutionalized when they're young. So it becomes a way of life for some of them. But, you know, when we talk about just Chicago jails and shit like that, it gets wicked, man. It gets wicked. But before we get to the Chicago jail shit, I want to say that I do not blame him for doing that. I, I, see, all this G-code shit is fake. I don't believe in none of it. Again, I'm not a gangster and none of that shit. I don't believe in none of it because when it comes to the gangsters, like they pick and choose. That's just what it is. I could have said it in that 1090 Jake snitching video, man. There's some snitches out here that's loved, like just period, point blank. And then, like, you know, if the nigga is not popular, if he's not loved and shit like that, that's when niggas really got a lot of smoke for the nigga. If he's not feared either, that's when niggas got all the smoke in the world for this nigga. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these niggas is cowards. But we're going to keep it moving. I don't blame him for that because the way the Chicago jails is, like, it's crazy. Now, I know niggas in L.A., I know niggas on fucking who done been, did a stint in Rikers Island, I know niggas in Texas. I know niggas in Miami. I know niggas is the been in them prison systems in them other states is like, nigga, that shit crazy. Nigga, you ain't a, da, 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 all that shit. They, like, OK, that's cool. That's cool. Y'all prison systems might be crazy, but check this out, bro. Rico Reckless and his boy, I think his name is Mankey. Excuse me if I got the name wrong. He got out of jail, and one of the first things he did was an interview. It might have been on Vlad, might have been No Jumper. I think he went on an interview tour for real. But listen, that nigga was talking about what go on in them prisons, man. They be fighting for no reason. They, all the gang banging and shit like that. But this is the thing that this is the thing that got me, man. 
He said the niggas will fight. And if you get knocked out, if you get knocked out during a fight, somebody in the background is going to yell, get that butt, get that butt. When niggas say get that butt, what they do is they come and they sprint, pause. I mean, this is about to be some gay shit, so I might as well not even pause. They spread your cheeks. They pull your pants down and spread your cheeks, and they start putting motherfucking toothpaste, Listerine, spitting in your ass, putting ketchup and mustard in your ass crack. They just fill your ass with fluids. Whether it's spit, whatever it is, like it, it, fucking honey mustard, if they want to put that in your ass crack, they will do that while you knocked out. And it's not even like, it's just a bunch of random niggas running up to put shit in your ass crack. You knocked out. You wake up, this is what happened. Because Rico Reckless broke all this down. They got to take you and, you know, perform a rape kit on you. Because you got fluid in your crevices and it's mainly your butt area. You know, so they got to do a rape kit on you after you get them fluids in your shit. But what happens when you get a rape kit done? That's when they call your points of contact and let them know, look, we had to do a rape kit on your boy. We had to do a fucking rape kit on your boy. Don't even give you no details after that. He, he he had some shit happen. We had to do a rape kit on your boy. We'll let you know any further updates. Guess who niggas point of contact be, man? They mom and they girl, man. So now your mom and or your girl, possibly even your wife, is getting calls about your butt cheeks getting made into a sandwich, but they don't know that. They think you got piped down. They just, that's all they know. They don't know that niggas turned your shit <laughs> into a BLT. That they turned your butt cheeks into a motherfucking uh, Italian Swiss. Like, come on, man. This shit, a uh, uh, provolone cheddar. <laughs> Let me chill. But, you know, and this is the thing about it. It even go further than that. Rico said, you know how you know how I talked at the top of the video, like all oh, the niggas would say they run to jail and da 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 he said that even older niggas would get to woofing like, man, shit, that get that butt shit gay as hell, man. Y'all motherfuckers better not even try and do that shit for me. I swear I'm going to kill a nigga, G. <laughs> nigga get snuck, get hit over the head with something, get laid out while he talking that shit. Get that butt. Niggas get the old head butt. Niggas get the tough guy butt. They start putting the motherfucking... The fucking barbecue sauce in that motherfucker, like, just, it's crazy. Now, yes, that sounds wildly gay, but I have to let you know that all that shit came from a nigga that be in Chicago prisons, man. Who is trying to deal with, bro, it's one thing when you fighting a nigga to where it's like, okay, man, you might come out with a concussion if you lose and shit like that. You might really come out with some brain damage depending on how hard motherfuckers go. Cause, and that ain't all the stories that he had. Motherfuckers was getting jumped. Motherfuckers, it, it, it was crazy shit going on in there. But also, if you get in a fight in prison, you got to worry about getting shanked and all types of shit. You know, that's just every prison period. You got to worry about just getting fucked up in ways to where like, you know, it could affect you for the rest of your life. But just to add on top of that, niggas is taking your motherfucking manhood by turning your ass into a Jimmy John sandwich. Who the fuck is trying to play with that? Who the fuck is trying to play with that? PC all day, nigga. Get me away from these motherfucking savage niggas. Just get me away from these savage niggas. I don't want no part of that. Imagine being a nigga that go into your motherfucking, like, you know, your little cell or whatever, your lock, whatever the fuck you got. You go and get the miracle whip with the spoon, and then you run up 
to a nigga's ass and then just spread the motherfucking mayonnaise in his ass. Imagine being that nigga and then coming back outside, getting back out into the world, talking about some where the hoes at. Acting like you didn't do that shit. Niggas will never know, yeah, man, this nigga put some mayonnaise in a nigga's ass. Crazy, man. I don't even got no more to say, man. I know that shit. I know I dragged that shit. And that's not much about the King Von shit, but I had to illustrate that point to let y'all know. Chief Keith fucking aimed a gun at cops, and when Chief Keith got sentenced, like, you know, years ago, we talking about over a decade ago type shit, after he became a rapper, he cried. And niggas tried to criti criticize Chief Keith for crying because he got, like, incarcerated and shit. And I understand, you know, because nigga, because look, I know COs, I know all that shit. I, I know how this shit go, man. Niggas be in jail acting. It's the tough guy Olympics, man. It's the tough guy Olympics. It's gladiator camp. You know, it's one thing to go in as a regular nigga. It's another thing to go in as a nigga with a reputation on the street. It's another thing to go in as a savage nigga that's ready for this shit and you live for this shit and you, you, you can't wait to get in and take over your whole shit. It's another thing to be a super popping rapper and Chief Keef and this nigga is not six foot. Chief Keef and King Von is not stalky niggas. And then you about to just go in there with all these grown men and be the top op. The top op, like you got the shit over your head and you don't know where you about to go. You don't know what type of members is going to be, you know, because it's BDs and GDs and vice lords and all that shit. You don't know who about to like really run the area you about to be in. So it's like, oh, man, you shit. That could have been another thing. Like, you know, the, the rival gang could have just been like they could have took that whole shit over the GDs and shit. That whole section that he was in. And, you know, that that that's just not going to pan out well for a nigga. So with all that being said, like you can't really criticize these niggas for how they move and how they get away. I understand, like, if we, as far as regular niggas, do not criticize it. If you like a fucking super institutionalized prison nigga and you like, oh, yeah, you got room to criticize that shit if you want. But understand, if you're listening to this nine times out of ten, you're free. If you're not, shout out to you for listening to my shit. But, you know, um, you know you don't want to go back to prison, dog. You know that ain't no shit to play with. You know, like, I don't even know how you could blame another nigga if you done been through that for, like, going to PC. But I, I get it. Like, you know, you, you you wear that shit that you was in gin pop and you did the stabbings and you did all that. You wear that as a badge of honor if you was one of them niggas, I, I guess. But let me know what you think in the comments. I'm out.